In this video, we're going to solve a triangle where the uh, two sides and the included angle is given. It's thought to be SAS, side, angle, side. So I have the triangle here. B is given to be 110, so that's an obtuse angle. We know, therefore, the other two angles have to be acute. And the missing parts are side B, angle C, and angle A. So basically, in this case, we want to find the side opposite the given angle. So here's the formula, log cosines, one form of the formula. So we're solving for B, side A and C are given, and uh, angle B is given. So this should be then B squared is equal to, this will be A squared, and A is 3. So that'll be 9. Then it's c squared. c squared is 2. So 2 squared is 4. Minus. And then it's 2 times a times c. So multiply a and c here. We get 6 times a minus 2. That's a minus 12 there. And it's the cosine of b. which is given to be 110 degrees. And then we can compute this up. 9 plus 4 minus 12 times the cosine of 110. Then round that off, take the square root. Or we can do it all in the calculator. So we don't round off until we get the final answer. So always double check your calculator, make sure we're dealing with degrees here. So this is in degree mode. So we want 9 plus 4 then is 13. We have minus 12. And then it's the cosine of 110. And we hit enter. And we get 17 point. 104 and so on. B squared is equal to that, so we want the square root of that. I go to my catalog here. So it's the square root, and I want the square root of that uh, last answer, so I'll hit uh, second answer and hit enter. And I get 4.13 or 4.14. So this tells me then that B is equal to 4.14 units. B is equal to 4.14 units. And then we'll fill in this answer here for B here. So we have B equal to 4.14. Now, at this point, we know that all the angles are acute. So at this point, we do have enough information to use the law of sines. I did that in the last video where we looked at a triangle. We had all three sides. But I'm going I'm to go ahead and, and use the uh, law of cosines here. So I'm going to try to find angle C. Let me clear this here. So here's my formula for this. So let me just put in the numbers that we know here. Cosine of C is equal to, and that'll be A squared. So this will be 9 plus B squared. We just want B to be 4.14. And then minus c squared, that'll be 4. And that's all divided by 2 times a times b. So that'll be 2 times 3. And 
and then B is 4.14. Okay, denominator 2 times A, A is 3, and then 4.14. So we do these calculations, and then cosine C will equal to that number, and then you take the inverse. But just to save some time here, let's just enter it in the calculator. So I'm going to have 9 plus... 4.14 and that's going to be squared and then minus 4 and then I just hit enter there do that calculation so I calculate, I calculate the numerator to be that and then I'm going to divide that answer by this product over here so 2 times 3 is 6, so I'm just going to write that as uh, 6 times 4.14. Hit enter. And then I want the inverse of this. So go second, inverse cosine, I should say. And then I have that answer there, so I hit second answer, and I get 26.96. So the angles I'm going to run to one decimal place, so 9 and then it's 6, so I add 1 to that, that should give me 27.0, should equal to 27.0. Then, of course, angle B was given to be 110 degrees, and now I, now I know angle C to be 27.0, so add those angles up and subtract from 180, and I get angle A to be 43.0 degrees. So we'll clear this, and here we have the uh, solution. So side B is 4.14, angle C is 27.0 degrees, and angle A is 43.0 degrees. And remember, the three angles have to add up to 180. Sometimes because of the rounding off, there could be a slight error in the actual solution. But in this case, uh, the rounding off, the, the zeros here, I have 27.0, 43.0. That simply means that I rounded it off to one decimal place. So it just turned out that that particular value was zero. And I just left it like that. And like I said, uh, once I got the uh, first piece of the uh, data, the side, uh, side B, I could have used the sign of uh, or the law of signs to, to complete the solution because I knew all the angles from then on were acute. And I wouldn't have any issue with the uh, ambiguous case for science. So that completes the solution. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.